वेलकम माई डियर स्टूडेंट्स टू अ स्पेशल लेक्चर ऑन इम्प्रूविंग हैंड राइटिंग इट इज सेड हैंड राइटिंग इज एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ आर पर्सनैलिटी एंड थॉट्स इट मे बी ट्रू और इट मे नॉट बी ट्रू बट वन थिंग इज सर्टन आर हैंड राइटिंग इज एन एक्सप्रेशन ऑफ आर कंसिस्टेंसी नीटनेस एंड सीरियसनेस वी सी सम स्टूडेंट्स हैव ब्यूटिफुल हैंड राइटिंग सम ऑफ यू मे थिंक दैट दे आर गिफ्टेड विद गुड हैंड राइटिंग but it is a misconception best handwriting is achieved with regular practice but for this you should first know what things you have to do for making your handwriting good a neat and beautiful handwriting is easy to read and it shows consistency in following five points form spacing size slanting and alignment now we look one by one how understanding of these points can make our handwriting neat and legible form means shape of letters some students write straight and some students write cursive some students exaggerate the loops while writing cursive some students also intermix all these forms but to practice good handwriting students should stick to one letter form throughout their writing while writing in cursive you don't have to exaggerate the loops secondly the main body of letters like a b d g o p and q should be enclosed if it is not completely closed it can be mistaken as different letter and might confuse the reader as it is in the following cases now the point is how your letters would have beautiful form for this purpose it is better if you start practice of drawing lines and curves this practice would add uniformity and speed to your handwriting lines include straight lines horizontal lines vertical lines and slanting lines curves include circle semicircle upward waves and downward waves after discussing forms the second important topic is spacing it is also reflects our clarity of thoughts first we shall see letter spacing we have to keep the letters close to each other putting them straight doesn't make any sense we should keep the letters close to each other but make sure their parts don't touch it is about the spacing in letters there should be definite space between two words the distance between two words should be as wide as lower case n some students are often seen giving more space or writing too close which make difficulty in reading in both the cases if students have trouble in estimating and maintaining uniform spaces between the words it is better they should try to use physical spacers such as stick or a pen it will give equal spacing next point is size of the letters it is important aspect in deciding whether our handwriting is good or not students writing too small letters or too big letters would miss good handwriting 
some of the important points which students should not forget are first upper case letters should be taller than lower case letters upper case letters written small may create bad impression see the difference second size of all upper case letters should be consistent if you write one upper case letter tall and other shorter it would not look nice third to keep uniformity in handwriting we should be aware of the fact that lower case alphabets are divided into three different groups the size of the main body of lower case letters should be consistent see for example words with combination of these letters first is tall letters just like b d f h k l t next is short letters like a c e i m n o r s u v w x z and last is hanging letters like j g p q y the size of the main body of lower case letters should be consistent see for example words with combination of these letters tall letters have ascenders and ascenders should be clear again the size of ascenders should be consistent hanging letters have descenders and descenders should be clear size of the descenders should be consistent letters is one of the main problems in students handwriting in which ascenders and descenders get mixed with letters on upper or lower line to avoid having tangled letters make your ascenders and descenders not too long next point is slanting often students write slant letters in cursive it gives speed while writing but too much slanting makes our handwriting bad students should not go with too much slanting in their writing they should either follow straight letter or moderate slanting always stick to one type of letter slant If your letters are tilted to the left or to the right make sure you don't overdo the slanting as it will be difficult to read The last fifth point is about alignment In proper alignment the placement of letters should be parallel with the horizontal line If they are not properly aligned it casts a bad impression Finally I wish to give some practical tips Students have to hold the pen near its writing tips so they will have better control with the strokes For a smoother writing surface place a pad of paper underneath the sheet you are writing Before concluding the lecture I should make it clear that different situation requires different level of speed. For instance, for taking your classroom notes or for solving question papers during exam, speed is required. But while doing homework, you have comfortable time. But if you focus on handwriting and try to develop it, your handwriting would definitely get improved. Focus and practice in these summer vacations would definitely improve your handwriting so keep writing diligently thank you have a nice day